So here's the lizard setup. It's not a Chinese water dragon. Hold on. Uh, I'm gonna switch this back on top of the. Yeah. It's not a Chinese water dragon. It's not a bearded dragon. But what is it? A painted Agama. This is one of the sweetest lizards I've ever got. This very, 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 very awesome looking because of that. These colors on the back, they're also called clown agamas or um, painted dragons, but I like to call them painted dragons. They're similar to beauties because of the, sh the shape of their head and knowing that the fact they have a prickly neck like a beauty would have. So, they're so separated at birth or what? <laughs> From a bearded dragon. But no, these are actually from North Africa in the desert areas where they like to be in hot areas of the um, of the desert and these are very awesome because this, this is their own this is how big they get they don't get any bigger than this the females may be a little smaller females have less color Less of that orange color, more of that yellow color, and bl and less of that black color too. His name is Eclipse. Look at that tail. Reminds me of an armadillo lizard. And also these spikes going down his back reminds me of a of an armadillo lizard. These are not even related to the bearded dragons, although they do look like them. But these are more related to the the uh. The Senai Agamas, Pyramid Head Agamas, basically Agamas, uh, lizard that you would find in Egypt, uh, middle, in the Middle East, because these like to be in desert hot climates. And I'm going to show you his uh, setup, if I can turn off the lights safely, without burning anything. The UV is okay, I don't worry about that. This is his setup with a, a large water bowl. Uh, so he can hydrate, so he, he don't have to worry about getting hydrate, dehydrated. This is his basking spot. And he has many areas to choose from. He's still kind of skittish. That's how these lizards are. But with a few days of taming and a few days of uh settling in his habitat he'll get used to anybody these are pretty awesome lizards i've been trying to get these for about months from triple l reptile but they ran out of stock before i can get them so i went buy something else instead pretty awesome lizard they can change their color too like a bearded dragon, they can change the color of their little prickly neck and their back and the top of their head. They can change from a very, very this color to a black color. That means they're very, very, very uh, agitated. Um, does not want to be disturbed. These are pretty cool lizards. I don't recommend them for children though, because these lizards are skittish, more skittish than beardeds. But they are kind of cool dragons. They are a lot cheaper than a bearded dragon, than a than a uh, a medium sized bearded dragon. In fact, that this is how big a medium sized dragon is, until they go into an adult actually. So I'm gonna just set them down. And I also got him a hide in there. That's a ceramic hide. And I got him a food bow right here. It came with um, a... Oop. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> it came with a container of phoenix worms. And I've been looking to get some of these. My chameleon. Uh, my skink. I have a skink. That's at my, uh, my parents' house. I'm thinking about... Uh, bringing him over here. He's an awesome skink. He's a, a Halloween skink. It came with this. And 
And plus, this is a custom setup. I just got a, a tub right here, the lid. I cut it at the top. I put a mesh screen on top. Bam! You got a cheap setup for like a bit of dragon. You can get a big tote, um, a tote or tub. And you can fit like a bearded dragon. You can't really fit a bearded dragon in this size. Maybe a some a couple of babies and a couple of medium size like juveniles. This is a 106 quart tub or 100 liters. And I'm trying to find out how many gallons it is. Doesn't say. Well, it's still pretty good. Um. Uh, my for my first uh custom setup, it was not much of a custom because I didn't build it, but did cut the hole in the top. Uh, because I didn't have anything big enough for him to stay in. I said maybe, well I maybe this can work, and it actually does. And you wanna keep the uh, light bulb, the heat bulb heat lamp away from the plastic or can melt the plastic and can harm your animal. You don't have to worry about this bulb because that doesn't melt nothing. It's just it's just the UVB bulb. It's something that all desert and diurnal uh, uh, reptiles need. So this is my new painted gamma. We're gonna have many updates. Maybe I might change him from here to a sweet vivarium, a desert vivarium without uh, any sand because I do not like to use sand or walnut um, or walnut uh, crushed walnut shells. That is just st stupid. So I use stuff like newspaper paper, newspaper paper towels, even uh, reptile carpets. Uh, so, so I'm gonna keep updated. There he is. I was so happy to bring him home from the expo. He's a pretty cool lizard.